Good day. This is Dr. Nemi Santos, and today we are going to talk about ethical moral and legal practice in nursing. This lecture will explore the meaning of the complex phenomenon of ethical, moral, and legal responsibilities in nursing practice. So let us start with the Republic Act 9173. The Republic Act 9173 is an act providing for a more responsive nursing profession, repealing for the purpose Republic Act No. 7164, otherwise known as the Philippine Nursing Act of 1991, and for other purposes. On this chapter, it will help us to comprehensively understand the definition of our profession. This law assumes responsibility for the protection and improvement of the nursing profession. It will help us nurses to practice relevant nursing education and humane working conditions. It will also help us to attain better career prospects and a dignified existence. So RA 9173 govern the scope of nursing practice in the Philippines. This include the provision of the care of the sick and the well utilizing the nursing process. It also establishes collaboration and linkage with other members of the health team. Timely and relevant health education to all, as well as molding nursing students to become future competent health professionals. And lastly, career development focusing on human resources training and research. For this matter, nursing in the Philippines is guided by legal rules and principles affecting the practice of nursing. The legal law in nursing also applies the regulation of the practice of nursing in our country. For a detailed encounter with the RA 9173, you may find its link in our module in Canvas or simply browse the net for a thorough reading. You'll find there how wonderful our profession is. So what are the functions of the law in nursing? It gives us understanding of our actions in the care of our patient. Next, it helps us to dif differentiate nurses' responsibilities as compared with other health professionals. It also establishes boundaries of our independent nursing action. And more importantly, assists us in helping maintaining the standard of nursing practice, making nurses accountable, and therefore, help us to be very careful in dealing with our clients. This means that our clients are assured of our competence. Moral responsibility was interpreted as relational way of being a nurse, which involved guidance of a professional composed of ideals, values, and knowledge that translate into striving to do good. Accountability, on the other hand, means being answerable for the decision made in the course of one's professional practice. Nurses are accountable to the patient, the public, their regulatory body, their employer, and any relevant supervisory authority. The gist of this presentation simply describes our important roles and responsibilities as a health professional. This is practicing our profession in relation to ethical, moral, and legal standards to be able to deliver competent nursing practice, education, and true research and development. Now we go to the Code of Ethics. What are Code of Ethics? It simply means a systematic guide for developing ethical behavior. It serves as a hallmark of all professionals 
in their willingness to accept a set of professional and ethical principles which they will follow in the conduct of their daily functions. Let us now go to the general principles of ethics. Number one, service to other. Nurses are bound to perform their duties for service. Next is integrity and objectivity. It describes nursing as a noble profession. Next is professional competence. It deals with how nurses respond to situations and performs its functions to the highest standard. The next is solidarity and teamwork. I think that nurses works efficiently and collaboratively with people. The next is social and civic responsibility. Aside from our functions, it is our ethical principle to serve the community with compassion and authentic care. Next is global competitiveness. The nursing profession is global in nature. That is why Filipino nurses are recognized anywhere in the world because of our competence and compassion. And lastly, equality of all professions. There are some ethical principles that uh, are very known to nursing profession. First is autonomy. This is the, implies that the patient has the right to refuse despite the explanation of the nurse. Example, surgical procedure. Non-maleficence, to do no harm. And this could probably be in some cases, that harm may be physical, financial, or social. Beneficence. Beneficence is to do good for the welfare of our clients, and that makes our profession noble. Next is justice. Justice is equality in terms of patient care and resources. Veracity is the act of truth. And fidelity is our loyalty to our clients. Next, we have the patient's bill of rights. The following are the patient's bill of rights. Right to appropriate medical care and humane treatment. Right to informed consent. Right to privacy and confidentiality. Right to information. The right to choose healthcare provider and facility. Right to self-determination. Right to religious belief. Right to medical records. Right to leave. Right to refuse participation in medical research. Right to correspondence and to receive visitors. Right to express grievances and right to be informed of his rights and obligations as a patient. All we have to consider as a nurse to our patients. It is also important to know that we respect the patient's Bill of Rights. Nurses shall familiarize themselves with the various routines, methods, or idiosyncrasies of physicians so that smooth relationships can be maintained. It is said that no man is an island. As a nurse, we should conform with our organization and maintain working relationship with the health teams. And lastly, as professionals, we should be updated on current trends and issues in nursing and continuously developing our competencies through trainings. So what are about nurses' moral responsibility? Moral responsibility can be described by the following principles. Number one, golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. 
or simply respect other people as you want them to respect you because what goes around comes around. The second is the twofold effect. The principle of double effect is frequently cited in cases of pregnancy and abortion. In these cases, the intended effect is to save the woman's life, not to terminate the pregnancy, and the effect of not performing the procedure would result in the greater evil of the death of both the mothers and the fetus. The next is the principle of totality. It means the whole is greater than its parts. And then, lastly, the end does not justify the means. Used to say that a desired result is so good or important that any method, even a morally bad one, may be used to achieve it. Well, it's still best to do good. One of the most famous laws ever known in the healthcare practice is the Good Samaritan Law. Some instances has been set as an example in some movies and TV series. This simply mean that there is really nothing wrong in helping others in a given life and death situation. The principle is to do good, not harm, without asking anything in return. And the good will replicate. Now consent really matters. Informed consent is very important to nursing. This part, the patient's bill of rights. In any procedure, it is best and important to ask for patient consent as an agreement by the client to accept whatever course of action being provided by the care provider. Consent should be given voluntarily. It must be given to a person with the capacity to understand, and the client should be given enough information to be able to make a decision. Now we go to the Data Privacy Act of 2012, otherwise known as Republic Act 10173, as governed by the National Privacy Commission. It is the policy of the state to protect the fundamental human rights of privacy of communication while ensuring free flow of information to promote innovation and growth. Protecting patients from harm includes respect for their rights to privacy and health information. This is one basic rights of our client that we have to uphold. And what is, what is the catch? The law, as defined by the Implementing Rules and Regulation, also puts responsibility on anyone who may have become aware of such security breach to properly inform authorities or otherwise be subject to penalties as well. So as nurses, we should always be careful in our actions. I think this ends my presentation. I hope you all learn from my presentation and as a nursing student, you should continue striving to do good in a way that respect yourself and other people. It is important that you also respect values. And as teachers, our role is to give you encouragement in your endeavors to do good in relational way that advances nursing as an ethical, moral, and legal practice. Thank you for listening.